Welcome back. Let's do trench coats. Let's go with the most expensive one. This right here is the Burberry Leather Trim Cotton Gabardine Trench Coat. Retailing for $2,390 US dollars. We picked up US size six and color honey. Materials, outer 100% cotton, trim 100% calf leather, lining 100% cotton with 65 polyester and then another 35% cotton. So I'm not sure there's different linings on this coat. So let's try it on. The fit of the Burberry trench jacket slash coat fits true to size. If anything, I feel like they mostly sized it right here on your shoulders and your chest bust area. Obviously the rest of the coat is very loose. You can tighten it, you can make it really tr like really loungy, really very relaxed fit. You can make it really tailored, close all the buttons, then really tie the belt nice and secure. And then you can just make it loose, just open it up, tie the back together. Just kind of make it more of like a relaxed fit. And then also like picking up your sleeves, kind of hiking them up, making them like three quarters, even half length, and then tying it in the front very loosely without any of the buttons tightened. So I think the fit is really great. The only thing is for a shorter person like myself, I'm 5'3". I think this is hitting to a length where I can get away with it, but it definitely looks a little bit oversized and it's kind of swallowing me. But I kind of like the look if I, that's the kind of look I'm going for. I think the sleeves fit really nicely as well. I like that it has this belt around your sleeves to make it more cinched, to make it more relaxed, to make it more loose. I do appreciate that. So the feel of this jacket, it's very substantial. Like I'm holding it and it's, it's, it's a very substantial coat. It's not super heavy when you put it on, but you can feel substance. I don't think I'd be super warm in this in like midwinter when it's really cold te temperature, but like really early spring, early winter, late fall when it's really kind of breezy, chilly weather, throw on a jacket, throw on some boots, some sneakers, whatever else. This is a really perfect jacket to make you feel really warm, secure, and I like that the length, it kind of keeps you all enclosed in the jacket. The look of this jacket, again, it's a very beautiful, very classic trench coat. It has all the little bells and whistles. You have the straps on your shoulders. You have the really nice collar. You have the double breasted uh, buttons. You have the really nice tailored sleeves. You have the beautiful little flap in the back right here, which I think is really nice. It has a really nice belt. And then of course you have the nice slit on the back. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy how long the slit was. It literally goes up to like almost the back of my butt. <laughs> But it's actually really nice because it doesn't constrict you from walking. It keeps you nice and flowy and breezy, even when you have all of your buttons buttoned. So I really appreciate that. Overall, the look of this, I just think it's a really stunning, beautiful trench coat, but it is a little bit tad too long. All the little details on here, I think this is what really elevates this trench coat. And it just, Looking at this, I really see the quality, even though you do see the Burberry, like the, the traditional Burberry pattern on the inside, you don't see it anywhere else unless you really pick up this part right here, your collar. So looking at the quality, I was trying to really nitpick. I was trying to look at the buttons. I was looking at the stitching. I expect a lot out of really high-end, luxurious designer pieces because you're paying so much money but I feel like with a jacket like this, this can get passed down generation to generation to generation, like at least three times, just because it's such a substantial coat. And I feel like the more you wear it, the more it kind of wears in and it's gonna look even better in the future. I'm trying to see if there was any kind of stitching I could pick on. And I think there was one or two spots, I think right here around the sleeve belt, there was some stitching. I'm like, oh, I can kind of see that. They could have trimmed that better, but I honestly can't really pick out anything. Everything is really, secure, everything is really substantial. You can really see the detail and the thought put into this. Just even seeing the pockets, there is like a double lining on inside the pockets to make it even more substantial. I, I keep saying it, but this this is a true substantial trench coat. And that's, yeah, it's, this is a beautiful coat. All right, let's try on the second most expensive trench coat. This right here is by the brand Maj, and this is their cotton blend trench coat. Retailing for 525 US dollars, we picked up size one. 
which we looked and this is, I think French, right? Size one, I believe is a size small. Color, camel. Materials, 64% cotton and 36% polyester. Let's put this on, cause this is very lightweight. For the Maj trench coat, the fit is definitely oversized and I think I could have gone down to a zero, which in French I think would be like an extra small because this is a very oversized type of a coat. I do like the way it fits around the bottom, which is hits me right mid calf, which I think is a very stunning, stunning, <laughs> a very stunning and flattering length for my size. And yeah, it's just a very oversized jacket. It doesn't feel very substantial on the body. It's just very lightweight. There is no lining, so I feel like that is taken away from a lot of the substance and that like really sturdy feeling. Like it does not compare to the Burberry whatsoever. I mean, we're at completely different price points, but it's still a $525 jacket, which is very expensive and very pricey for a jacket like this. It does feel quite nice. It feels definitely a little more scratchy than the Burberry. It doesn't have that like very soft, like, ooh, it feels really luxurious and ooh, let me put it on, you know? I feel like it, they made it look really good on the model, but on me, the only part of this entire jacket where it looked good was in the back. I actually really like how the cinched back looks on me, especially when it's tied really nicely and cinched in. And then this really nice button detail in the back, this little, it's a little split, but the thing is it's not split. It doesn't open. It's actually just extra fabric kind of pinched together. It doesn't look good in the front. It just looks very bulky. It looks like a hamper. It looks, Andre said, I look like a light. What was it? What did you call it? I look like a lamp in the front. So yes, yeah, very flattering compliments I was getting. But yeah, it's just something about this coat is very unflattering and I'm just really upset even with the quality. I don't like that it didn't have lining and then looking at the, the little button detail, how it's put together on the side right here, I feel like this was this is going to fall apart so easily and so fast and that I'm just gonna lose the buttons everywhere. So just, there's like no reassurance that, <laughs> hey, you paid a lot of money for this jacket. It's gonna last you a lifetime, you know? Another thing with the quality with the belt loop, it doesn't hold. <laughs> It literally does not hold. You have to you have to do it twice. You have to do a double loop to have it hold around your waist. And I don't understand that. Like, why am I paying this much money if it's not going to hold me in? This jacket is just a very big disappointment. Let's put on the third most expensive coat. This is by Abercrombie & Fitch. This is their calf length trench coat, retailing for 180 US dollars. We picked up regular US small because they have petite, or a tall version as well. And we got color khaki, lining 100% polyester, and then the coating is 100% polyacrylate. Shell, 52% polyester, 48% biconstituent fiber. Never heard of that before. But let's put this on, and hopefully it looks pretty good. The fit of the Abercrombie & Fitch, I would say it's definitely true to size, a size small. It fit really good around the chest, the bust area around the shoulders, they didn't feel really tight. A lot of the times, sometimes jackets like this, they kind of feel tight around the armpits, but this is actually really comfortable. I feel like I could still wear a nice hoodie underneath and I'm not gonna feel as tight. The only fit I would say is definitely a little bit more tailored around the waist area, especially when you button it up and around the hips. That way this one is the most fitted out of the three so far, which I think it definitely has its own look. The feel of this jacket, it's definitely the softest out of the three. It has kind of like that little, um, kind of mimics the suede texture. It's very soft to the touch and kind of fuzzy feeling in a way. And the next thing is it's very light weight as well. I feel like it has a little bit, a little bit more substance than the Maj jacket just because it does have a little bit more of a lining. So it feels more of a coat rather than kind of like a cardigan you throw on top. But look wise, like I said, this is more of a tailored, more of a fitted type of a trench jacket. I'm sure you can go up in size and get something a little bit more relaxed looking, but I think it looks really good if you have it all, way, all the way unbuttoned and just have the tie in the back, like the belt tied in the back. I think it gives a really nice relaxed fit. I wish it had those traditional trench coat elements, like the little loop at the very top of your shoulders that little flap, I'm not even sure what the technical term is, but the flap on the upper part of your back 
It kind of separates or adds a little bit more dimension to the back of the coat. I feel like that's what it's lacking. It does have the little slit in the back that's completely open just kind of like the Burberry. The belt is very similar, very lightweight, and it does have the holes, so that way your belt does hold. It has a nice big size pocket on the sides, so I think it's a good look-alike for a trench coat. I don't think it's a typical trench coat because you're missing the shoulder detail and the back detail, but otherwise, it's a very beautiful trench coat. Looking at the detail and the stitching on this, it's very comparable to the Maj, which that one is 525. I feel like this one is a little bit better. It has the same little detailing with each button. It's just very simply on the in the inside of the coach slash jacket. I personally wouldn't pay the full $180 just because it doesn't feel as substantial. It doesn't look the best, it's the most flattering. And yeah, for me personally, I would go more of a petite size in this and then get like a, like a medium to get more of like a relaxed feel because it does hit a little bit below the mid calf for me on my frame. So I think it does swallow me just a tad when it's completely buttoned up. Overall, this is better than the Maj. I think it looks better, it fits better, even the quality looks better. Let's move on to the fourth jacket. The fourth coat is by Orale. This is on Amazon and this is their women's three-fourth length double-breasted trench coat lapel jacket with belt. This retails for $99.99. We picked up US size small in the color khaki. Materials, the shell is 100% polyester and the body lining is 100% polyester as well. Let's put it on, because this one looks actually really cute. The Orale fits true to size. We picked a size small and just even the length, the arms, the shoulders. This one actually fit the best out of all four of them so far. Really nice and tailored around the shoulders. I could still feel like I could put a nice hoodie underneath and I wouldn't feel tight and restricted. Around the waist, it felt very comfortable. Around the hips, it didn't restrict my hips. So definitely the fit is a very comfortable, a little more tailored fit, but still really relaxed if you kind of open up the jacket. The feel of this jacket, it's kind of in between the Abercrombie and the Maj jacket. It kind of has that a little suede feel, but not as soft and plushy as the Abercrombie, but it's not as rough as the Maj or as substantial as the Burberry. It does have that lining on the inside, so it does have kind of like that slick, silky, slippy feel on the inside where it kind of just slides onto your body. The look of this jacket, I would say, is definitely my favorite and preferred out of all of them so far, especially for the front. Just something about it, the way it fits and the, the way it lays on my shoulders, around my chest, around my hips and my waist and the legs, I think it's actually really flattering. I prefer to wear it opened and just kind of maybe tie it, but in the back, it's my least favorite the way it looks. I do like this extra flap on the back, but because they're missing the slit, the way it kind of sits and just falls on the back of my legs, it kind of looks like I have static on my legs and it's kind of clinging to my legs instead of kind of swaying with my body and the way I move is just kind of trying to cling onto my body, which I think is not really flattering, especially for a longer jacket like this. Going to the quality, I honestly think it's better than the Abercrombie and the Maj. Only thing that is not better is the belt. It actually broke on me when I was trying to put it through. Another thing I'm looking at is a lot of the stitching is kind of hanging off, so and it might actually ripped it off right there. And another thing I wanted to note was the button with the stitching on the inside. It looks like they did a better job stitching than the Abercrombie and the Maj as well. It looks like it has a little bit more security the way they put it together. Yeah, I think the only thing I'm gonna complain is it doesn't have a slit and the belt was a little bit too flimsy for my liking and it broke on me with first time trying. But this right here is my favorite option so far out of the four. Let's try on number five from Forever 21. This retails for $9.99. We actually bought it for $7, but then we looked to link all of these coats, and for some reason, it's now $49 on Forever 21, so we have no idea what happened. The original price was $9.99, and then $7 that we purchased it on sale, and then it went back up, so we have no idea what's, what the actual price is. So this right here, this is their double-breasted trench coat, USA size small, color taupe, and materials 92% rayon and 8% 
polyester. Let's put this on. This definitely has more of a baggy, relaxed type of a fit, but it actually doesn't look too oversized. It looks just nice and drapey. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks really drapey, but it fits true to size. This, I was telling them that this is definitely not a coat. It's not a jacket. This is like a shirt, like an over shirt that people sell. It's not even a cardigan level. This is so lightweight. There is no lining. It's so drapey. Like this is just a straight up shirt, which I'm totally okay with for the price that we paid or originally $9.99 but I'm not okay with for $49 just because it is so flimsy. It's so, yeah, it just, it doesn't feel substantial. It doesn't feel that great. So please keep that in mind. This is a very drapey, super lightweight shirt. I actually really like the look of this when it's opened. I like that it's super drapey. It really moves and flows with you when you walk, when you move. I like that it has a slit. I like the shoulder detailing with the buttons. You have the double breasted buttons, the pockets. You have the sleeves that are cuffed and you have the back, just nice, simple belt. You are missing a drape in the back for your top shoulders and back, but you do have a nice, pretty, pretty big slit. And I think it actually hits really nicely where it sits on my body. It is a little bit longer, but I think because it's so drapey and the way it moves, it actually looks pretty good and decent. But yeah, the quality, <laughs> The quality is is okay, again, for $7 or $9.99. I can't sit here and tell you to go buy this for $49. I think this is way too expensive for what you're gonna get. This is not a coat by any means. It's just so lightweight. Like they should, I would be okay if they call us like a cardigan or a light blazer, a light shirt, like an over shirt that you can wear this. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with the quality. It's just way too, way too flimsy in my opinion, but I do like the look of it. It just, it's very, very casual, very relaxed and trendy. So if you don't wanna to spend too much money, hopefully it goes on sale, hopefully. <laughs> well, there you have it. The best quality, I definitely have to give it to Burberry, obviously, obviously. It'd be so disappointing if it wasn't the best quality. It just had the substance, it had the trench coat quality, all the stitching, all the lining, all of the feeling, just the buttons, the fit. It was, I would say, the overall best coat. The next second best coat is definitely the Orlay from Amazon. The only thing, like I said, I nitpicked was the belt, it broke on me, and then the back slit, it wasn't there. But overall, beautiful trench coat. And I think the third one for me was definitely the Abercrombie & Fitch, but it still kind of lacked something for me. It was a tad too long. and have that substance to it that I really want from a trench coat. So I guess what I'm gonna ask is, you guys, if you have a trench coat that you absolutely love, please share with us. I'm still looking for that one trench coat. Still, still looking, haven't found her yet. Thank you for watching and we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.